so we will see the next key let's try to understand this one is very used commonly used straight one let's take one key for the straight line we just saw declining method let's see how straight line looks like phase 1 phase 2 base method 11 and then changes to base method 17 what does it mean Eleven is percentage from useful life. So it calculates the percentage from useful life. For example, if it is straight line method, your useful life is five years. So system will calculate every year it will depreciate twenty percent. Right? If it is seventeen, then ordinary depreciation, immediate depreciation after end of life. The moment life ends. If there is a value, complete it. Declining method should not, I think it would be straight line, zero, 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 zero. Period control, it changes from seven to eight. Okay. And then we have change over method. Change is again after after the end of five is after end of useful life this is the we just saw then we have another option change over percentage so we can put percentage also for change over So this is what we have as a summary of this. Again, more complex table, but very important to understand to get into asset accounting. You have base method, you have multi-level method, declining method, period control. So since it is, you know, we are working in base in straight line, we don't have anything in de declining method. Multi-level method we do have. Here it says start with netbook value and then go to the, so to start with acquisition value and then it calculate from based on every time it calculate based on network value again valid from ordinary depreciation start date so normally you most of the keys start from the depreciation start date because cap date is just an informational field it derives the, it's not you know kind of not in only informational it derives your depreciation start date it derives your financials but actually the calculation runs based on Uh, based on the cap date okay then we have delete comments then we can activate and we can save it I can delete the keys also okay it's not that I can just create it so I can delete the key so this is what we have in terms of depreciation key
Next, we have a speed rate control. In that table, we were looking at all these values, right? We saw one, two, three, four, and you know, every key was assigned with these combinations. So now the question is if we want to have more combinations apart from standard SAP, how to do that? So the logic is we can create the combinations. There is no hard stop. We can have the combinations of our own. Start of next mid month. So I'm saying if it is 17, then the depreciation will start from the next month from the mid of the next one. So if I purchased in something in June, it should start from the depreciation to start from 15 July. If I purchased in March, it should start from 15th April. So that's how I add it. Now I define calendar assignment. I just keep giving the name. Now it has to drive things behind the scenes. Okay. Let's say what does it mean? So it says year, month, day, period. So we will tell system K4 17 Let's make a copy that's more easy. Says month, the month as a part of for every posting period you, you must specify the last valid calendar period of the date of the period let's make a copy of this one so we were have we created 17 year is nothing this one is this field contain the day as a part of for every posting period you must specify the last valid calendar date of the period so that 31st and then what is this for acquisition this is the period after which the system will calculate depreciation for retirement this is the period up to which the system calculate depreciation depreciation is calculated from and to the period for this calculation, the first period is always period 000. In other words, if you want to calculate depreciation from the beginning of the year, you must specify the period 000 or leave it blank. So I'll say 1. So this is what period control is. Time dependent period controls. So 
so we have our company code so this is not money not used generate period controls fiscal year variant k4 calendar year 2016 so all these period control have to be activated whatever we just created there was no help in the program only perform this step if you are using year dependent fiscal year variant when you assign fiscal year variant to company code the system generate calendar assignment for the standard period control so it is only required if you use year dependent fiscal year variant if you use year independent independent then it is not needed further settings cut off value key for certain type of valuation it makes sense or is legally required that you end depreciation when certain value is reached so very much applicable for japan you can enter an absolute scrap value in the asset master record or you can enter a percentage scrap value in the calculation key in this step you define the calculation key for automatically determining scrap values for each calculation key you can specify a percentage of depreciation base that should be used or the value so the logic says you know it's i did this for japan that after certain point of time when the asset reached certain value you should stop the depreciation and you maintain that that's a hard stop let's take an example so start of the validity period cap date 5 years and 5 percentage so for asset that are no more than 5 year old based on their cap date the cut off percentage is valid be aware that you have to enter the validity period for the individual percentages or level of scrap value in the cumulative form so you have to stop depreciation after certain point of time so that's what you have to define here Japanese I just gave you example five percent Chile ten percent Austria fifteen percent Germany it's valid in 2 years it is mostly for net worth tax tax purposes define maximum base value you can say company code so i'm saying for my company code this for my asset class machinery for area 1 up to this year the maximum value is 500 so my asset value cannot go zero 
the moment it is 500 system will stop the depreciation you will see these calculations you know when system will do we will capitalize some assets and we'll try all these logics so system will stop the depreciation specify asset specific base value so I don't have any asset number so it is by asset number I can tell system for this asset number this is my base value since I don't have any asset number I cannot do anything here so I'll do this you know once I complete the configuration and I'll create some master data then I will try this option so these are all enhancements not doable 